Okay, we're gonna try this again. It seems a little bit better right now for me, but I don't know. I canceled the other upload because it was horrible. So we'll see if we can get this going. So welcome to my live sale. Hi, and I have Michelle. Comfy, cozy living here with me. So make sure, because we've got to get this girl right here. Lean in here. I need to move this to where you are on the screen too. We need to get her at her 1,000 subscribers, guys. So make sure that you are sharing her channel and subscribing to her channel and showing her some love. She's so much fun, and she, she's got a lot of good content. Hi, guys. I'm sorry. I, I just stopped it. Because yeah. it was just bad. I'm trying to find it now. Michelle's trying to find it now. So let me know if, if it's... Oh, my word. Hello. We'll see. If we can get this going. I don't know. You never know. Is that better? Is that better? Um... Yeah. It's better? Yeah, looks like it. I just wanted to show, I can't see the chat now. I don't know if anyone has commented in the chat for a while, but I can't see it. But I wanted to show my shirt. Shirley is a legend, and so is her internet. So that is in honor of our girl, Shirley. It says better and good. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, let's so I don't have those. chat. I do. Okay. So I can't see the chat, but Michelle will let me know what the chat is saying. And maybe we'll get done a little bit sooner than later because I can't, I'm not distracted. Butterfly Nurse said, hello, I am loving the Michelle Misty shows. Everybody's smiling, thumbs up, no Yay! body move. So we can't move. If we move, then it makes it weird. We can't move? Best it has ever looked, Joanne Bieber said. It's, Carrie said, it's super clear and your mouth and voice match. Yay, okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. Yes. Before it messes up again. Michelle's channel is comfy, cozy, lit. Michelle, Comfy Cozy Living. It's Michelle with one L. Michelle, and Comfy Cozy Living. I'll link it when I, this goes live. I'll link her channel in the description, so make sure that you Don't go and follow Don't move the camera. Her. Okay. We're not going to move the camera. I can't see the chat. It's driving me crazy. Yes. Okay. Hello. Perfect. Hi, everyone. Yes. Okay. Because you're clear now. Let's go ahead and get started. I can okay. see clearly now. So, I, I'm going to do a oh, couple. Gone again. Buffering. Graham, maybe you should come here, Graham. <laughs> he said buffering. You're gone again. <laughs> Dang, buffering. Froze again. Okay, who moved? I don't move. <laughs> what if you... Hang on. What if you... Have uh... you plugged in the white box again, Graham asked? <laughs> no, I'll plug it in again. Well, she's going to go do that now. Oh, it is plugged in. Oh, it is plugged in, yes. Should I unplug it? Graham said, I'm making lunch, but can, I can come after. Should I unplug the box? Should we unplug it, Graham? Now they said it's good. Oh, good grief. Okay. Um, Graham, if you're not far away, maybe check on us. How about we sell a brush? There you go. This is a brush. I'll show you the number so you can find okay. it. Okay. All right, so I have a primitive brush. Now, I don't know if this was a like a horse brush or a shoe brush or what kind of a brush it was. But brushes are big and brushes look really good in a decor. It's a scrubbing brush and it's got um, the bristles on it still. The bristles are a little wonky. It's got little bristles here too. It's got, um, the handle is applied with the screw. It's just really cool. I actually have a lot of brushes in um, some of my decor pieces. I like that they were a utilitarian piece that you could actually use in your decor. I just like that kind of thing. So this brush is $12 and it's number 45. Pool table brush, Laura said. It's a pool table. It's not, I know that it's not a hairbrush. I didn't know you brushed pool tables. Yeah, you have to get the crumbs off them, mm -hmm. I guess. But $12, number 45 for the primitive Shoe brush. brush. Shoe brush. And I think Maybe. it's kind of like a flower frog too, where you can put like a card yes, or something Yes, I've done that. Well, yeah, this one's going to be a little bit... A little wonky to set it. Because yeah. of the... But yeah, boot I have brush. done that too. What is it? A boot, boot brush. brush. Oh, Kathy, a water baby said ancient toilet brush. Ew. Oh, Kathy, I don't want to touch it then. It might have I'll move it over there. Uh, poo-poo's on it. Man on it. Might have ancient poo-poo's on it. Okay. 
Now let's do this. Now I have talked about this little guy in my not matching again. Oh, it's this one. Okay, it's not matching again. And the thing of it is, I can't see the chat. I can't see it. I can't see it. Now it's clear for Cat Carrie. No, not not super late electric hanger because we've been having some um technical but, difficulties. You know, it's we're just getting it's, started. It's one of my sales. You know that there's going to be technical difficulties. Let me see. And the electric hanger, this is Misty who you came for. I'm just the extra sideshow. <laughs> Michelle come Sideshow Bob. <laughs> She's Bob. 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 I'm trying to get Now they oh. said it's fine. Good. Keep going. It's spot on for me. You're good, clear, great here, clear on my end. Words don't match. Well, Jane, I'm going to say, Jane, maybe you need to refresh because everybody seems to be okay. The ghost wants Emma. That's what Graham said. The ghost wants Emma. Why can't I get that, this to go away now? Oh, what is this? What that. is this? Oh, yeah, I, look. Oh, I can see the chat. Don't leave it. Don't touch it. But what? So oh. what? At least you can see. Okay. Okay. So this guy. Aww. This guy was painted spray painted gold some guy or gal decided that this beautiful little wiener dog should be painted gold and i used um paint stripper a very gentle paint stripper um i knew that his uh, his glaze was going to protect his little <coughs> his mouth and his nose um not matching is the viewer not you okay otherwise okay okay so hi Suze. Hi, Christina. All, all of his um, glaze is perfect. He doesn't have a chip on him. He does have a little bit of the leftover gold paint there underneath, mm -hmm. but I couldn't, I couldn't get them all. Yes, it's Michelle. Michelle's my helper girl today. Hi. She drove all the way down from Wisconsin yes. to help. So the this one is for sale. Um, now a lot of people said that you could use oven cleaner, which I that would that would be convenient but i already had paint stripper and i just went ahead and used it but this little guy is for sale he is 15 dollars, and he is number 61. this was a um like a dresser valet so it would be like for a man's wallet and his spare change mm, i was thinking ketchup and mustard because he's making oh. me hungry oh that would be yeah, a good idea dog. that would be a good idea lynn combell combell lynn oh, combell all right, gotcha. Do you want me to write it in or just say it? You can just say it. Okay. Well, write it and say it. Can you do both? Write it and say it, but <laughs> hey, you don't do need to wanna... type it. It's Here, fine. let me give you something. No, this is fine. Make sure you don't want to use my computer. No. All right, next I have a little September girl. Here is a little, little September. She's not an angel. She doesn't have any wings. She's a girl. Um, I found her when we went to Evansville. She is made by Napco. Somebody asked, how do you buy resale therapy? You want to go over that real quick? Oh, I, I didn't do that, did I? No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so to buy something, the first person to say, I'm going to give you a number, and the first person to type oh. the number will get will win it. And whoever shows up on our end, so whoever shows up on Michelle's end will, and she'll announce who wins it. Um, you're going to send me an email at thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. And I will be working on invoices all day tomorrow and everything will ship out this weekend after it's been paid for, obviously. So, um, all right. And all of this stuff will be in the description below after the video goes live. So it'll all be there. Uh, this little girl is an aster, which is, I believe that is the um, September's flower. Um, she, now when I bought her, I thought she was in pristine condition, but she, she's, she's got <laughs> underneath her flower, you can see right there, she's got a little chip. Actually, it's kind of a decent, it's like a finger sized chip. You cannot see it from the front, but it is there. So the price is reflective of that. Um, but her head has never been cut off. Neither are, Her fingers are all intact. The only thing is that underside chip on her flower. So she is $12 and she's number 42. $12, number 42 for the September girl, the Aster September. 
figure. Good Juju Vintage. That's Susie. California Susie. Oh, hi, California Susie. C.A. Susie. All right, next we have... <laughs> These were in my these were in my preview, but they're these well one of them. I'm gonna show them at different times. But here's the cowboy mug. And I he kind of reminds me of uh John Lane. I don't know why he does. Ivy Bell Lane. Ivy Bell Lane is coming out of quarantine since being on COVID. Oh and wow. she said thanks for all the videos from us. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm glad thank that you're you feeling better. Lane. Yeah, I'm We're glad, glad that you're doing well and taking your time to watch us. Yeah. So I'm glad you're feeling better. Yes. So this little cowboy got mug. Well, he's a creamer. You see he has a little um, spout on his hat. His handle is a gun. He's a very stately fella. Who does she just said it looks like her dentist? Well, you can keep your toothbrushes in here, Huda Shuda. You can put your to your toothbrushes in here. Um, but he is, doesn't have a flaw on him. He is in excellent condition. He's just kind of a little fun Western cowboy. He is... He is $10, and he's number 53. $10, number 53 for the Gentleman Cowboy Creamer, but looks like a mug, but it's Creamer for him. Andrea Kane. Andrea Kane. Now, Andrea, I don't know your email address, or I don't recognize your name, but make sure that you do send an email. I know he's so cool. He's swashbuckled. I think I've got, well, let's do an offer up. Yes. Let's Wait, do, do I have to time that? Huh? I don't know how to time somebody. Oh, let me get you a, a, a stopwatch. So you just hit start Ooh. when it's time, and, it, and it'll be. Um, let's do an offer up of, what did I even say I was going to do? You did Well, yeah, there are asterisks. Oh, okay. Should be on the back. Um, oh, there you go. No, those aren't. Mm -hmm. I took those off. Okay. Let's do, okay, okay. okay. so I'm going to show it to you, and then we'll do the offer up. Now, the way that the offer up is going to work is I'm going to show you the item and we're going to time for one minute and the first the, the highest offer in that minute time the, the, that's right above the stop will be the winner and I have a set of six one two three four five a set of five of these green uranium glass plates they Bam. do glow Yeah, and try not to ch like chat during this minute time. If we can all just be quiet for one minute. I know it's hard, trust me. It's very hard for me to be quiet for any length of time. Yeah. But if we can try that yeah. just so it doesn't get confusing during the offer up process. They, there are five of these plates. There's only one of them that has a little chip on it. They're not marked, any, any maker's mark on Can I see your flashlight again mm -hmm. to show? But yeah, they do. They do glow nicely. All of them do. I did not find my black light yet. I'm still looking for it. My, I have two of them, and I don't know where one of them is. This is the only one that has a little chip right there. I think it's kind of showing up right there. Oh, yeah. But you get all five of them. So we are going to start the bidding at $10. And whenever you're ready, Michelle, you might want to... Should I type it in? Yeah, type in start, and then she'll hit the start button on the timer, and then the first person, or the last person's price above stop will be the winner. Okay, ready? 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 Starting at $10. Oh. Go! And I'm going to try to... Ooh. So these are $10 for starting price of $10. For the uranium glass plates, you get five of them. Only one of them has the little nick on them. They will be wrapped up. Fifteen good juju. Fifteen Jill Mozina, Cindy's from Mimi's. We're still in your die pass at fifteen. Good juju's at seventeen. Good juju, good juju seventeen. Cheryl sixteen. Oh, you can see it. That's right. Yeah. It might be a little. I want to figure out how to get that to go away. Oh, Water know. baby Kathy's at seventeen. I think. So Juju we need, is at 17. Yeah, we need to beat the 17. 
Oh, the time's not working. Why isn't it working? It is. Why does it still say 59? My gosh. You heard me admit it, right? Hang on, guys. The price is going up. What's up? Not... She said, I know. Okay. 21. What was that? Water baby's at 21. And Juju said she's out. Okay. <laughs> Kathy, you win them at 21. $21. Kathy, water baby, you win the, um, the uranium glass plates. And then you might want to, I don't know why. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, you guys, we're a mess. It's oh, a we're a fun mess, right? Yeah, you just have to make sure that you hit that. Hit this. I hit green. Hit green start. I must not hit it hard enough. I was too worried about it. I'll start it. I'll start, start it. That way it's not my fault. Okay, Kathy. Kathy, you won the, you won the uranium glass plates. Yay. Yep. Yay. Okay, let's do a train. This is the little Penn Central cool car. I showed this in the video as well. It is made by Marks, M-A-R-X, Marks Toys. Um, I don't know if it works. I, I don't know. I don't have a way to, to test it, but these look really cool. I actually have a couple of them myself um, on some shelves at home. It's in really good condition. There aren't any, any, anything wrong with it. Again, I don't have a way to test it, so I don't know that it works. Um, it's made in the USA by Marks. It is $8, and it's number 55. $8, number 55, for the Penn Central coal car. It's plastic. It is not metal. Uh, $8 for the vintage Marks Toys coal car. Um, Cindy, uh, Tenderfoot Art is going to be selling those shirts. Oh yes, Tenderfoot Art. I'll I'll link her channel or her eBay store down below so you guys can maybe buy one of the Shirley's shirts. So it's a lot of fun. All right. So the next thing is this is a really neat thing. I almost kept it, but I am not. And it is this really neat funeral home print. So this frame itself is plastic. This part is glass. So the, it's, it's like a painting underneath the glass of the little boy and his dog. And it is from F.L. Lockstone Funeral Homes, uh, Waterford Thomas. So I don't know, I don't know where this is from, but it is from a funeral home. That's cool. The back of it does have a little bit of water staining. and But here is the hanger. It's just a neat piece. And I like that it's from a funeral home because that's just different. Um, this is $15 and it is number nine. $15, number nine. It's a nice serene setting for the funeral home advertisement piece. Okay. Juju Vintage. Juju Vintage. Guys, I got a couple of my mom's pillows. These might be the only two left that I have for a little while. They're both Christmas pillows. Um, my mom has made these. She's moved to Florida, so I don't know if she's going to be making any more. But here's two of them right here. This one is Christmas Cats. This is not vintage fabric. It's just really, really cute with all the little cats on it. It's a nice size pillow, really, for a little throw pillow. It would be, um, it would be neat to put on a porch or on your sofa. I like to put a holiday pillow out on my porch in a chair. The back of it is white. Made by my mom. This is $12 and it's number 46. $12, number 46 for the Christmas Cats pillow. Okay. I have you have CCC. CCC. Got the kitty cat pillow. I have another Christmas pillow that's even neater. But I'll show it here in just a moment. Oh, Lynn. Lynn loves my mom's pillow. She's bought lots of them. Oh. I have a little piece of dragonware. Now, I sold a set of these last week. I had the sugar and the cream. This one's just the cream. 
It is dragonware. You can see the dragons right there. It has the flamingo, as my dad would call it, flamingo, and um, it has like a little city scene back here. A little creamer. It's in excellent condition. And it is $6, and it's number 44. $6, number 44, for the Dragonware Florida with the Flamingo on it creamer. Cindy, you never know if Shirley Pearl is around until she all of a sudden up and snatches an item from yeah. out from under you. Yeah, Shirley just appears. Yeah. She, she just appears. She's She just never know. It's right. just like her internet. It's always there. <laughs> oh my gosh, why can't that go away? I don't understand. Okay, I'm not going to touch it. You might have seen her on here, but you might have just seen us talking about her, too, yeah. Cheryl. I saw somebody wanted 44. Oh, I didn't see. Oh, Susan K. I've just okay. come up on Susan K., you got number 44. Okay, I have a couple pieces of Watt Pottery. This one is the three-leaf pitcher. It's just like the one that I had sold last week, but that one had two leaves, which was a little bit earlier of a piece, and this one is the three leaves. It's in excellent condition. I like that it has the little, you know, the little paint paint there on the handle. The spout is in excellent condition as well. It's a number 15 pitcher from Watt Pottery. It is $12 and it's number 49. Just a little pot belly Watt Pottery pitcher, $12, number 49. Gene Max. Gene Max. Okay. I have some strawberries. Oh, bye, bye, Christina. Bye, Christina. You have to go back to work. Yuck. I have some strawberry shakers. Now, these this has a repair. So I'm just gonna say that right now. And I didn't realize it when I bought it. So How many again, items do you have today? I have 61 items. Um, this is, these are salt and pepper shakers. Now I do believe, I, I, I don't know, but I do believe they probably were supposed to hang on a base of some sort. Um, sometimes when they have these little loops, they're supposed to hang on a base, but they're flat on one side. They're very long strawberries. <laughs> they are, <laughs> but they're very you fun. You guys they're don't want to know what I called them. They do have their stoppers. This one right here does have a repair. You can see it's been glued. Uh, but they are $6 and they are number 12. Strawberry earrings. They are like strawberry. They Rachel, are. you're so smart. Strawberry earrings. Uh, or Charlotte said that. $12. Ricky Donald called them pink pickle berries. Well, that's a little bit closer to what I call she them. She called them dingleberries. I did. They're dingleberries. Michelle, you I think you won yeah. dingleberries. <laughs> Six dollars, number twelve. Okay, now I've got the crazy lady. I don't know what she's doing, but she's fabulous. She was in my thumbnail yesterday. Look, she's clenching her pearls. She has seen something that has frightened her or delighted her. I don't know, but she's she's something. She's also a creamer, and I, she's not marked. She doesn't have any flaws on her anywhere. There's the back of her. I don't know what exactly she's doing, but wow. she's having a good time, whatever it is. Maybe she just won a lot of the money. Um, she is $8, and she's number 53. No, I'm sorry. She's number 52. Oh, yeah. 52 for the, the crazy old lady. Sally Lang. Sally Lang. Hi, Michelle Mermaid. All right. Now this is a piece, this is an unusual piece. I think that Kathy, Kathy Water Baby, she probably will like this piece because I think that she likes things like this. Um, it is a gauge. I think Kathy, I think Kathy bought a gauge from me before. I don't know what it goes to. It's just a gauge. So it's very steampunk. I don't know if it went into a car. Cool. I like or it, it's just cool. I just like. When you add things like this to a shelf, it's just interesting, you know. You can make up whatever story you want to make about this gauge. It came from the Titanic. Nobody will know. 
But it is, it's a little bit of a heavy piece. It is metal and it's not aluminum. There's no brand, well, wait a second. It's made in the USA. That's all it says. It's a really cool like steampunk gauge. I think that's really neat. This is $8, which is a great price. And it is number 36. It's a pressure gauge, $8, number 36. Pretty cool. I think it just adds, it's an interesting piece to add to your display to make people wonder, what is that for? I don't know. Water baby. I knew it. I knew it, Kathy. I knew it. Kathy would like that. When I saw it, I thought of her immediately. <laughs> so I have this snooty little frog. He's a snooty frog. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, yeah, we need to be like Jeffrey. 200 per 207 people watching. We need to hit 300 thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Everybody should be giving a thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, 300 thumbs up. Let's see if we can hit 300 thumbs up. Okay, hi, Jamie. So we have a snooty frog. This is a little, a little scrubber. I love these scrubbers, by the way. I don't mm -hmm. think it's never been used, but the colors on that are so good. I'm I getting know. all the '70s off. Isn't of that it thing. fun? Love. Now it isn't. Hi, Patrick. Patrick just hit his 1,000, so that's pretty awesome. Congratulations. It isn't um, marked anything, and it is. Some of the paint is coming off. It's cold painted, so. If it gets real, real wet, it may not be a great thing. So I don't know that I myself would use this as a scrubber. I probably would put a plant in it, you know. Um, it is a flower power frog. Isn't yes. it cool? I love that, yeah. Um, and he's so snooty. He is so over being a scrubber. He wants mm -hmm. to be a plant holder now, guys. He doesn't want to be a scrubber holder anymore. This is $8, and it's number 32. Hi, Patrick. Congrats on the 1,000. Yay. So fun. Eight dollars, number thirty-two for the flower power frog scrubby holder. That's sick of being a scrubby holder. It wants to be a flower pot. Hi, Laura. Hi, Randy. Girl. Hey, Blue Feather. I don't think I said hi to everybody. Sorry. Side Street Market. Yep. That number thirty-two. New Albany, Indiana. I've been there. All right. Okay. Now, I am not looking forward to shipping these things. And it's not the things that I am like buying to resell, but my mom had these dolls. She did tell, and I was like, no, mom, I'm not selling these dolls for you. I just don't want to do it. But she then she told me that whatever whatever they sold for, I could give the money to Emma. Even though that doesn't seem quite fair because I'm the one that's doing all the work. Emma, I'm shipping it. I'm selling it. What are you doing? Anyway, I'm going to do it so Emma can get the money for these if they even sell. They are very cute. They were in my haul video, uh, or my preview video. So I'm going to show this one first. This one's Brittany. Yes, they're boy bear dolls. It's Brittany. Mm. It's Brittany. Mm -hmm. Brittany's back. That's what I said. You know Brittany Spears that she used to say that? Mm -hmm. So let me show you all of her. She has a couple things that go with her. Now she is a porcelain doll. And she's been sitting for a long time, so I'm going to straighten up her legs. Straighten up, Brittany. Straighten up your legs. Come on, Brittany's been... got a head of hair on She her. does have a head of hair. She is super cute. Look at her little dimples. Yes, Michelle, and I believe she's coming up as well. Michelle, she kind of has long hair like yours. Oh, well, mine's nice and gray. So Brittany has on her little, her little black felt hat. Oh, Brittany. Sorry. Um, Susan Frank, I don't know what your my channel is Michelle Comfy Cozy Living. Susan Frank, I don't know what you're bidding on. Yeah, we're not bidding on this yet. I'm just gonna give you the number in just a sec. Oh, I probably showed the number. But she is really cute. She's got a cute little dress on with her little sweater. Um, her little feet are resin, but she also comes with her little bear. Here is her bear that she comes with. It's a little matching scarf that matches her sweater. <laughs> and she comes with a little resin suitcase. Why is there a sticker on that? Mm -hmm. And she comes with her little train schedule. Scenic train. I don't know. But she is, she's $20 and she's number three. Jamie said, I hope she doesn't have a meltdown shave her head. <laughs> 
I kind of hope she does. I don't know. Don't shave your hair. Oh, baby, baby. <laughs> she's $20 and she's number three. She is really cute. I just don't like dolls. Hi, Maria. Yeah, I'm not a doll person either unless it's like uh, Chrissy or um, Mrs. Beasley. She's the best yeah, doll like ever. Mrs. Beasley. So, again, I don't know if these are going to sell, but she does look cute sitting up. If you like mm -hmm. dolls, I don't know. I don't want to get um, this one demonetized, though, so I can't sing. I don't like dolls either. But Kim likes my singing. Oh, we can't sing songs. It's not allowed. Yeah. YouTube doesn't like it. Okay, well, I didn't think the dolls would sell, but we tried. We tried, Mom. We tried. Well, I got another one. I don't even know if I'm going to try it. Schnuda loves Mrs. Beasley, too. Yay. Yeah, put Mrs. Put a snake in her suitcase so she can put it around her neck. Okay, Brittany, nobody wants you. We're going to go back to so Dolly. Nobody's probably going to want her sister either. But she doesn't, like, doesn't her sister's name Ashley? Her sister's name is Ashley. Do you guys want to see the other doll? Because if not, I'm not going to mess with showing her. Maybe I, if they see that there's two of them, they'll want them both after all. Listen, know. if you want some Boyd's Bear dolls, send me an email. Yeah, I know. Send me an email. If you are interested in the boy, I have a couple more. So send me an email. I'm not even going to show it today because I don't really, I didn't really want to to begin with. <laughs> mm. Susan used to cut off Baby her Chrissy. Baby Chrissy or the sk tall skinny Chrissy. There's a chubby little Chrissy down, but the tall skinny Chrissy with the ponytail, that was the best. That was that one everybody chopped off the hair. I had a doll. It was a skipper doll that was oh, my yeah. mom's, and you twisted her arms and her boobs grew. Oh my! She was a she was a um, puberty puberty skipper, I guess. I don't Are know. you there, God? It's me, Skipper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about some chalkware? That's more up Ooh, our, yes. more up our um, what you want to see here. Okay, I will show her in just a few minutes. <laughs> really quick but she's 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 ashley got ashley and Brittany. okay so we got some chalkware these are miller studios they Ooh. are little fruit baskets let me just show one of them good cause... size i can't hold two things at once you could stick those anywhere they do have their little hangers on the back and they're um wait someone said i had the doll you pulled out to cut oh I will, I'll show her if y'all want me to, but this is chalkware and it's brown. It is Miller Studios, 1966. It is in, it is in really good condition for chalkware. You know, you find chalkware a lot and it's, it's, it's chippy. These are both in really good condition. They do both have their hangers on them. Here's the other one. They're really pretty much the same. Yeah, they're exactly the same. They're both Miller Studios. They are, you get the pair of them for $15 and they are number 11. $15, number 11 for the Miller Studios um, chalkware. What are we talking? They're talking about the boob dolls. Oh stuff. yeah. I wish I still had her. She'd probably be worth a little bit of money. Alrighty. Next, how about a brooch? I have a couple brooches. I have a sailboat brooch. This one's unusual. This one's was we just found it not too long ago. It doesn't have who's who made it on it anywhere. It's in a gold backing. Yeah, and it's red, white, and blue. It's very patriotic. Yes, Michelle is having her live sale tomorrow mm -hmm. on location from Fatbird Finds Abode. So this is $8 for this brooch, and it's number 16. It has the lobster claw um, hook on it. $8, number 16. <laughs> Charlotte said international shipping. <laughs> international shipping. Okay, who did I? Susan Frank. Yep. Susan Frank, you got the sailboat brooch. Um, actually, you guys, uh, when I have my sale tomorrow, I'm uh, not going to be sh shipping. I'm going to. Oh yeah. I'm going to uh, invoice you right away. So um, 
that the item is claimed and I know everything is all good with that. And then um, the following week when I have my sale, if you buy something, then I'll be combining all the shipping. So then you'll just be billed for one shipping. Mm -hmm. And if you don't buy anything next week, then I'll still ship your item. But then you'll just, I mean, you'll only pay for shipping then. So, yeah. All right. Who likes squirrels? This is a little squirrel nut bowl. Now, I thought it might be made by Treasure Craft because I had seen the, the inside glaze, but I do not think that it is. It just says it's made in California. Um, but it has this really fun little green glaze. Yeah, Michelle, can't you teleport your packages? <laughs> and it's got a little squirrel. So it's, he's sitting on a little walnut. So it's a cute little nut bowl. I think it would be cute with M&Ms in it, you know, because I say that, that all the time because M&Ms are delicious. Peanut M&M's. Or peanut butter M&M's. Not the plain oh, old M&M's. I love the caramel ones, actually. The plain old M&M's are just, those aren't good. You guys, you know how she feels about clowns? That's kind of how I feel about squirrels. Really? Yeah, I'm not a clown. Yeah. <laughs> Worse is the possum and the Go oh, possums are not a, possums are not, not a good. rodent kind of vermin. Person. So he is in excellent condition. He doesn't have any flaws on him anywhere. He is... $12, and he's number 35. $12, number 35, for the little M&M holder, let's call him. Because I think that would be cute. Little nut holder or m and hold. M &M holder. He's a nut, all right. He's a nutty squirrel. Susan Frank. Susan Frank. Okay, shall we try, shall we attempt another offer up? Yes. Let's attempt this. I'm going to hold the top. Oh, don't start it yet. Oh, no. Wait. We haven't started yet. Ew, Lena. Ew. What'd she say? Oh. She said possums come to her porch to eat the cat food. Ugh. That's just gross. That's just. Ugh. So I have a fairy lamp. Let me show it to you. It is an Ellie Smith Stars and Bars amber colored glass. It is amber glass. It's not flash pan or anything it is actual amber glass um it there is i won't forget to say stop this time on uh, there is a couple little nicks on the top not on the base and the way that i think that that happens a lot is when people are putting their candles in them and they're shutting them just like along here there's a couple couple little ones actually just one there's just one little nick right there but there but in that same spot there is a little chip right there so it does have some some little nicks on it but these amber glasses we're coming into the fall season are just beautiful in a display uh and i was telling michelle i only have a couple fairy lamps left so i've got to be finding me some more because i try to have one with every sale uh, so this one is going to be on an offer up. Possums are so good to have around. And they're saying they, they eat noisy and they're just and they icky. Eat pig. And care. when they see you, they go, Shh. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. hiss at you. And they're Ooh. ugly. They're not cute. They're they're fugly, actually. Yeah. Stephanie, you're not blocked. If you're watching, you're not blocked from my channel. No, not at all. I, who knows what's going on with the internet i don't know i've had like issue after issue but no absolutely not i don't do that <laughs> okay so the fairy lamp we're going to do it for one minute i'm going to start it at 10 i'm going to start it at ten dollars for the amber fairy lamp and i'm going to put it so you can see are you ready to say start yeah, i got it written. Okay, I guess ready that. and start we're good all right so the fairy lamp starting at ten dollars for the amber glass fairy lamp. Ew, yuck, they're yo so boho. They're just icky to me. They yes, freak me out. Oh, I see 20. Oh, Cheryl Hoskins, bring in it. it is, she is, Cheryl Hoskins. Oh, there's Shirley Pearl. Sh Shirley, see my shirt? Susan K is at 22 for the amber glass. We've got 32 seconds left. Resale therapy kidlet is at 23. 23, 29, Cheryl Hoskins, Ooh. 23 seconds. Hi, Shirley. It is, these are really pretty at, at fall. I could see you putting some greenery around it and having it like your Thanksgiving table. Even. We're at 10 seconds, and 10. Susan K is at $30. $30, 35, Cheryl Hoskins. 
for the Amber Ellie Smith Stars and Bars. Stop. Oh. It's okay. Stop. Cheryl Hoskins at 35. Yep. All right, Cheryl Hoskins, this will be wrapped up very, very carefully. And it will be on its way to you. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. It is, it's not, bro it's got a, it's not broken. It's just got a couple little, it has a little nick right there. So, all right. Next, I have, I can, I can't believe that I'm selling these, but Michelle even was like, are you selling those? <laughs> yes, I am. Because of the color i get the 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 subject matter is absolutely the most marvelous place in the world because it's mackinac island i'm selling a mackinac island piece i know i can't believe it either but it's green and i don't do green so that's the only reason why i'm selling these but they are mackinac island michigan salt and pepper shakers the most magical place in the world um, and it has a Mackinac Bridge and the Surrey um, carriage on it. They're green, like a forest green color. They do both have their stoppers in them, salt and pepper shakers. I just, it's the green. I don't like the green. I don't know why. I just don't like the green. But these are amazing. And they're Mackinac Island, and that's the best place in the world. So hi, Mary. These, oh, hi, Mary. These are $14.00. And they are number 48. $14, number 48 for the Mackinac Island ceramic salt and pepper shakers. Hi, neighbor. You have vintage Mackinac photo slides? Oh, yes. Oh, I'd love to see those. They're so neat. This is, It's the most beautiful place on the planet, in my opinion. In my opinion. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Shirley's a legend and so is her internet. Okay, now let's do, does anybody like fondue pots? I have a couple very retro things. And as I was pulling things aside to sell, I thought, goodness, do you got a lot of retro things? And so I have a retro fondue pot. Now this green, I like, I don't know, I'm just weird. But, like, you could pair this with orange, which would be great. This does not have the stand that you put the, um, like, the burner. It has this underplate, and it's made in Japan. It's imperial. Can you see that? There we go. Mm -hmm. Made in Japan. So, it has, like, a Bakelite um, tray, but it doesn't have the stand. But I think that just as a decor piece in itself. Is really neat. It does have the lid, it has the wooden handles, it has all of these fondue forks. So they all have, there's only two, well, there's two white ones and two blue ones. But you know, you could say, I'm having the orange fork for my fondue stick. So you can choose your color. Then it also has the instructions, all of the paperwork on the inside. I don't think that it's ever been used. It's aluminum. So it's super cool. I want to have a fondue party. I, I have never had fondue, and y'all know how much I like. You cheese. know what it reminds me of? Swingers. Fondue. Back in the day, I think they would have had fondue before they would have done their swinging. Yeah, and you can put your keys on this little tray. There you go. Isn't that what they did at swinger I parties? So. You put your. I don't know. I what? Do they put your? You put your keys in the thing. I, I don't think. know. Y'all can tell us if you've ever been to one. All right. So we have the fondue pot. It is $12 and it's number 29. Where is Stephanie? What's that? I don't know. She said she's trying to type in and it's not, and she's not showing up. $12 number 29 for the fondue pot. That's really cool. Yeah, she someone else says they've heard that you put your swing or your swing in a bowl, your keys in a bowl. You're waiting for the key party admissions. <laughs> All right. Fondue pull. Ooh, an STD party. Yee. Yee. 
You want a cheese and cracker platter. I do have one that a cheese board that I was yes, going to sell this week. Yes, the melting pot. We have that too. I've been there one time, a long never, time ago. I have never been to the melting pot. So nobody wants the fondue pot for twelve dollars. Okay. <laughs> well, I made a cute face. Huh? Somebody made me a throw up face. Oh, I want to go to the melting cool. pot. My husband doesn't want to go there because he says it's too expensive, and you don't get. You probably wouldn't get full. All right, bye, Graham. Cheap. Bye, Graham. Okay. Oh, Graham, get Gunther kisses for me. All right, I have a little flying umbrella. No umbrella butterfly float like Brooch. a butterfly see it, it's li so lifelike oh side street said she'll take the fondue pot oh great for 12 dollars side street and it has all just eating cheese by itself it's all the people all the people get their own poker get your own poker at the at the at the, the swinging party. <laughs> I know. I love the graphics, too. That's why I thought when I bought it. I thought, I know it doesn't have the burner, but just for display, it's just very cool. Yeah. Hot bye, Tina. Yeah, it's so weird. Stephanie is not showing up. I hope that one of us didn't do something yesterday when we were watching our show. I don't think so. I don't either. Okay. Well, Stephanie, we'll try to figure it out. That's so weird. I don't I understand. Don't well, I can't do it right I can't do it right now, yeah. but I'll see if I, what I can figure out, Stephanie. Should so, I do it online? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see if we can figure out. So this is one of those stick brooches, um, and it's, you know, it's got the long stick pin in it with a little, I remember these. You'd wear it like that, and then you're walking around, and your little butterfly wings are flapping in the breeze. <laughs> that sounded kind of funny, but this is $8. It's got little bejeweled eyes. Eight dollars and it is number seventeen. Eight dollars, number seventeen. It's so lifelike, right? For the little brooch. Well, I it's not me because it doesn't it says I could block her, but I she's not. I don't know if that I don't, I don't understand. Okay, seventeen was okay. Shirley Pearl. Okie doke. Next I have the I think that these are neat. I have, uh, what was the, what was number 31? Number oh, 31 nothing. was the fairy lamp. Oh, will you write the price that that's I did. Was? Oh, okay. On here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I'll stick back on there. I thought that these were neat. They're made, they're deluxe quality. Stephanie, make sure that you are at live chat, not in, in top chat. I may have Michelle entertain you for a minute, and I'll go check my computer. Oh, I but, can do that. <laughs> but I have these ship plates. Ooh, Misty, you should have cleaned these off a little bit. They are, they're a set of four of them, and they have these, like, um, oh, what are these? Alex knows the names of these ships. Pirate they're, ship? They're kind of like a pirate ship. I think they're all different. So this, this one that, that has that kind of a sail, and then this one. I like the back. Yeah, the back has the um, compass on it. Those are deluxe clipper ships. And then there's this one. I don't know, would these be like for like butter? <laughs> or I don't know what they, if they were just a decorative purpose, but do you get all four of them? They are $8. Clipper ships. Clipper ships, yes, galleons. They're $8 for all four of them, and they are number 37. Number 37 for all four of the clipper ship, pirate ship, galleon ship, little plates. And you use them for Side ketchup street. or something. Yeah, little condiment plates. Side street. Side street, gotcha. Okay. Oh, my gosh, this guy. Thank you. Look, check your computer. Oh, I forgot. I'll do it in a second. Look at this guy. He is a hound dog. He's got a rubber face. Talk about the puppy dog eyes. You know, Mabel's over there sleeping like a little angel. Yes. So he has, he's a basset hound, I do believe. But look at his little tail. I think so. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Boop, 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 boop. He well, is, floppy ears. he does have big floppy ears. That's look a basset him. hound trait, I think. He is made by GB. 
He's got his original tag. GB Creations. Or GB Creation. <laughs> he is... I don't, you just don't see these. I just like them. <laughs> what? Missed you get a condom mini... Condom plate? Condom Con mint? Condom mint. Condom mint. Condom mint. <laughs> condom and a mint. But look. Woo, you know how basset hounds just run and their little ears yes. But He's so cute. He is in excellent condition. You can see his stitching. I love him. He's adorable. He is eighteen dollars, and he is number five. Eighteen dollars, number five, for the GB Creations rubber faced basset hound. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, Patrick wanted the dog. Oh, oh, oh yeah, because he's got. Him. Oh, Barb. Yeah, Patrick does the dog thing, right? With the, well, I don't know if that, that's a thing, but yeah. I know, but he does. Did, Patrick, didn't you do like a charity? Oh, that's right. Yeah, with the, with the dogs. Are you going to go check? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Michelle's going to. Michelle's going to entertain you. Oh yeah, subscribe to Michelle from Comfy Cozy Living. That's me. And my sale is tomorrow, 12 noon central, 1 p.m. Eastern. I am going to be selling live from Paducah. Oh yeah, Paducah. I can't even wait. Mary Beth has me all set up in my room. She's got my table and all my space for everything i'll get all set up tonight I, don't know how to check. I think just go to her and then see like when you go to the setting thing if it says block user then you'll know it's not blocked Where's i mean the i think like the, like the little thing in the corner like the little lines i think i don't know because i don't have a computer yeah, we got to get me to 8000 We got to get me, like, a bigger sale. Or, well, not bigger sales, but more sales. So maybe someday I can get a laptop. Maybe even a tripod one of these days. <laughs> well, Stephanie, she's not, not locked. I don't know. Stephanie, you're not locked. The only people that I've ever blocked were people that like, leave me mean, mean, mean comments. So, I don't know. That's weird. Is Lorian here? Okay. Let's see. <laughs> what should we do next? Um, How about this creepy bunny? He's so good. Look. Look at his little ears. He's homemade. He, you can see how he was all stitched. His little head was stitched to his body. His little tail was stitched. Someone drew his little face on. He's not so creepy as he is kind of sad. Look at his little floppy tail. Oh, his it's a bunny. Legs are See his little weird, ears? <laughs> I, maybe, I mean, to me, it looks like a bunny. It's not a puppy, is it? But look, he's got little uh, whiskers. To me, yeah, it looks like a bunny. Got bunny, yeah. Bye, me, take me home. I am not haunted. Um, but I just, I don't know. I just, I like things like this. And so this, I don't know. I just think that he looked cute in an Easter display. Because to me, he's a bunny. He's $8. And he is number six. $8. Number six. For the bunny, cat, puppy. <laughs> Electric hanger naked. said, borderline super cute, borderline kind of creepy. But look, isn't that a bunny tail? Go away, draw it on, bunny. Draw it on. Listen, if nobody buys me, and y'all will be jealous that you didn't buy him when you had a chance. Right? Okay, he's going home with you You'll be jealous. Okay, I have a pillow that's not so creepy. This is a pillow made by my mom. We had sold these. Hi, Laura. Hi, Hi Laura. Laura. I had sold these before. And then mom found another one. She found another one that she had. This is vintage fabric that I have, I found at Goodwill. And mom took it home and she made pillows because I cannot sew. So it is vintage fabric. She did add a little bit of embellishments, but look at this vintage Christmas fabric. Look at the little dogs on it. 
look at this little dog here. Isn't he cute? <laughs> if I got him, Ron would throw him away. So mom added the little embellishments. This looks like a little Puda Schnuda right there, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't it cute? With and so here's the back of it. Tail. The back of it has little Christmas bells and Christmas holly on it. Super cute. Nice Christmas pillow. This one is $14 and it is number 47. $14, number 47 for the vintage Christmas fabric pillow with the cute little dogs on it. Made by my mother. Diana Callis. Ooh, Diana Callis. Diana, I just threw your pillow on the floor. Let me pick it up. All right. Let's do another piece of Watt pottery. This is the, I think it's called Old Pansy. It is... <laughs> Oh, you call on old pansy. Oh, be quiet, you old pansy. <laughs> so this is a Watt pottery plate. It's marked Watt on the back. I think this is a little, it, it's a more, it's, it's a more newer, it's a little bit more modern of a piece than the apples and the star flowers and that sort of thing. But I still like it because if you do collect Watt pottery, you can put this in the background of a display. But this is, I believe it's Old Pansy is what it's called. There are some with three flower or three leaves, some with four. This one's just one little single plate, like a little dessert plate. Um, it is, where are you at? $12 and it is number 50. Uh, Tammy Deville, yes, she does. Um, she could do a local pickup. Oh, if you're local, yes. If you live local, then send me an email and we you can make a pickup arrangement. And Michelle yeah. Gomez, you might want to refresh. You're a little behind. Yeah. Tammy, do you live close to Mindy? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, local pickup is fine. You just send me an email and we can work something. Shirley we can work Pearl? out the... Oh, wait. No, Shirley Ooh. Pearl. That's... 47 this, is the wrong one. This line. is number 50. Someone is calling. Wildflower Antiques. This is number 50. $12 for the Watt Pottery Old Pansy Plate. Oh, Tammy's in Deville. Or Tammy Deville is in Bedford. I don't understand. That's so weird. Okay. All right. Um, let's do this little guy. Or these little people. I think that these are cute. But there is issues with these. Let me just tell you that. And the prices are always reflective of that. Um, but I just, I see things and I just think that they're precious and I want to get them and give them life again. Um, this is made by Lefton, I believe. No, this is a Joseph's Original. It's a little bride and groom. It's a sweet little cake topper. Now, oh, here's the sticker of the Joseph's Original. They're both... Not just one of their heads have been chopped off, but both of their heads have been chopped off. So I don't know what happened to these fine, this fine married couple, but both of their heads have been glued back on. You can see the glue here and the glue there. And their eyes are closed, which makes it a little bit more creepy that <laughs> their heads have been cut off and their eyes are closed. But don't we all close our eyes when we get married? <laughs> just close your eyes. I don't know if their heads have been cut close off. It might eyes. be worse if their eyes were open. Maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just kind of, it's it's just, I don't know, it's just neat. I just liked it. I liked it. He has a little chip in on his hat right there. But they're still just, I don't know, I just like this stuff, guys. I just I will, do. You know what? You got to, um, um, Mary Beth. Text me uh, where marriage. I'm exactly going in case I'm not positive on uh, that Good address. Direction. Now I'm I gonna think I know, but just text me, please. I'm going to put this tag over their necks to just, make it, it, just to make it even more creepier. But they are $6 and they are number 40. $6 by Mary Beth. $6, number 40 for the decapitated but glued back on i know i just thought they were cute and i wanted to save them we are saving them from the landfill people they are saving them from they're the still landfill. cute they joanne baber cute. joanne baber yeah it's precious i i still think that it would be neat for like a wedding shower cake topper 
So I think it'd be cute. All right, now I have this little set here. And I think, I don't know, Jackie, Jackie may have sent me a message or sent something in the in the one of my videos in the hall asking what these were used for. And I don't quite know, but let me show you. There's three three things, three parts of this, but it's this little uh, trinket dish with these two little plates. Now, some of you may may know what this was used for, but I, I don't quite know. The flowers on this are in excellent condition. There aren't any any chipping on them anywhere. The leaves are all there. It's kind of a, like a paisley pattern. It is made by Davar Japan. This did have a piece of felt on the back, but I do take the felt off. When, you can tell a felt has been added to a piece to protect it, and you want to see who made the piece, so I want to take the felt off. I didn't take the felt off of the other two pieces. So you would get this little trinket dish, and then it comes with, I don't know if these are maybe your ring, little ring trays, but it comes with two of the little plates that match. They look like little leaves. Oh, I'm sorry. Susan Frank was first. For what? For um the um bride and groom. Oh, okay. Susan I'm sorry, Frank. Joanne. I didn't see that. I was not paying attention. This the the plate. This plate. This plate is in excellent condition. There's no nothing wrong with it. It does have the felt on the bottom. I didn't take the felt okay. off. This one has a repair to the leaf right here. So you get all the pieces. You get both of the, these and the trinket dish, the lidded trinket dish, for $15, and it's number 14. $15, number 14, for the trinket, the trinket dish with the little plate. They're very mid-century, kind of like a little vanity. It's a little sweet little vanity, oh. maybe. Well, Susan Frank just said Joanne can have it. Oh. Oh, hush, Rachel. <laughs> What'd Rachel say? She said, focus, Michelle. Focus, focus. Michelle, focus. Oh, I can quit touching my phone. Okay, so I was going back to Joanne, baby. So number 14, $15 for the little trinket tray. Trinket dish with the trays. All right. This. I've got some linens. Two sets here. I have a red set and a blue set. I'm going to show you the red set first. <laughs> Joanne Baber said she's trying to get dressed again. Takes forever when we're live. Uh, I don't know. You, know, you don't want to miss anything. No. Ooh, this is really pretty. I know. So this is a, dr a dresser scarf or a scarf whatever you want to or you can hang it. it on your oven um handle that's pretty long ah uh, who cares you can wear it as a scarf you fold it you fold it anyway you can wear it as a scarf so these are um this is really really pretty i like that they're like hibiscus flowers they're very tropical yeah so there you get this one they have been washed i have washed them and then i don't know if this one's a little bit smaller this one has a little bit of staining on it's just a little bit mm. smaller. It isn't as quite as long, but it has a little bit of staining right in there. I have washed them, but I haven't treated them. And down them. here. And down where? Oh, yeah. Right there. So they can be treated. I just don't. I, I leave things as they are. That's just what I do. But you get both of them for $12, and they're number 22. $12, number 22, for the vintage hibiscus set of table runners. I'm from Milwaukee, but I live in a suburb right now, uh, just outside Milwaukee. Basically, Milwaukee still. So. <laughs> I see Shirley Pearl. Yep. Now, I have another there. set of the, or another one you of those. blue but, one. Yeah, but I'm not going to show it right now because it's going to oh. be the same number or similar number. Oh. What a tire. Yes, I am selling a tire. It is a tricycle tire. However, these look absolutely adorable in a display. I have a couple mm -hmm. of them at home that I use in my displays. You can lean them, you know, against something. You can put like burlap ribbon and along here and then put like flowers in it and use it. I've seen people hang them on their doors, or on their porches. So they're really, really cute. J.W. Van Minimal, 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 where in Milwaukee are you? 
Oh, cool. Like what side of Milwaukee are you on? What part of town? This is heavy. This is not a, a, a tire that you put oh, air in. Feel how heavy that is. Or feel, that's like solid. Oh God, that's like it's, rock hard. Oh, sorry. It's, Did I just write on you? He just punched me in the arm. Did I write on you? No, that's okay. Sorry. He's in rip, rip on. Ripping. Rip on. Ripping. Ripping? Like ripping good cookies? Didn't you ever have those? I've never even heard of those before. Oh, well, they don't have exist anymore. But. So the little tire here is really cute. I just have one of this size. Um, it is $12 and it is number 34. It's rusty. It's crusty. It's just fun. JW, I'm actually in, in Menominee Falls. I know where you're at. Ivy Bell Lane. Ivy Bell Lane. I like things like this. Again, it's something that was once used for something else and you're using it for something else. A little piece of restaurant wear. I don't know who made this Ooh, one because it's not marked. Cute. It's a little personal creamer. It is. It has forest green lines on it. Very, very cute little creamer. These look great. You know what looks good in these? An air plan. Right, I'm starting to love those. I know. I have a collection of these too. Mm -hmm. They're fun. I like to put things like I'll have like seven or eight of different sizes and different colors on a shelf. That's all you need is just a couple little, just a couple of them. You don't have to have 5,000 of them. Just a little, a little shelf full of them makes it interesting. But this is $8 and it's number 43. My new obsession is tires. No, creamers, little personal creamers. Although tricycle tires are really cool. I do have to say $8, number 43. I'm seeing lots of 43s. Oh, Michelle, are you the first number 43? Did I get it? Yep, you did. I swear I didn't cheat, you guys. She didn't, she didn't cheat. Michelle got it. Here. Here, I hit her. She didn't cheat. She didn't know. She didn't even look through any of this stuff. And I have some more of those, so don't worry. I'll I be remember a lot of the commercials. All the beer commercials, that was my life growing up. That's beer all. was your life? Everything, yes. Because of Milwaukee, Everywhere. And everyone up in college, everybody wanted to come home with me for the weekend, and then we would go on a tour. Did you beer? We'd go on a brewery tour, and you always got three free beers. <laughs> no, she, you know, she 18, what Rachel you know. said? She called you a name. Oh, I'm sure. Okay. Oh. Oh. So, I... I have this. I really... bought it. I bought it for you, Rachel. No, she didn't. <laughs> she, she's <laughs> lying. She did. she bought it for herself. She didn't buy it for you, Rachel. So I have this fun little enamel box. This was in my video as well. I like boxes. I'm just I like boxes. I got two boxes and I'm going to try to sell today. This one is really pretty with the inlay on it. I think it has one little area right there i don't i mean i just it looks different i don't think that there's it's been repaired it just is a little bit different of a spot on it but it doesn't it doesn't have a locking mechanism it's hinged i don't know if it's cedar i'm smelling i don't think it smells like cedar no it so smells like it's just a little just a little box the, these boxes are nice because you can use them to you know to add some height to a display or so. stash box or you could you know you could do that too so this is 12 dollars and it's number 51. 12 dollars number 51 for the vintage inlaid you can see it has the inlay all the way around too i don't know barb i think so I think I am. I think that was the deciding factor. She said, I guess that means you're keeping the ones you bought you see, that I found. Shirley Pearl. Shirley I'm Pearl. Sure that I didn't. Yeah. All right. Time for a sippy. Can I hold the dog? Hmm? Can I hold the dog? Hmm? You know what? That blanket might be attached to her, oh, the sorry. Velcro on her. <laughs> it sometimes happens. Okay. I know a couple people have had their eyes on this campfire marshmallow tin. Now, here is the thing about this tin. It's very cool. Yeah, it's very cool. They look great 
on a display. I know of a person that collects these and their house is filled with campfire marshmallow tins. They're cool. This is a reproduction. And the way that I know that is because it's got the barcode right here. Sometimes they, oh yeah, this one even says, this is a replica of a 1920s campfire marshmallow tin. So again, if this was an actual one that wasn't an older one, it would be worth a lot of money. Uh, but this one is not. This one looks very old fashioned -y, but it is not. Uh, the, the ones with the bale handles are the ones that are, that are really cool. This is $15 and it is number 28. $15. It does have the lid number 28. What do you do with that many marshmallows? <laughs> well, you roast just, them. Hey, you roast them. You don't put marshmallows in it. It's just cool. Annie out and about. Annie out and about vintage. I know. Little Miss Maybell. She's so stinking sweet. Okay, I have another little vessel here that you can put an air plant in. And it is this little occupied. Are you occupied? Oh, Japan? that's super cute. No, you're just made in Japan. A little bird planter with a little tree. It's a little bluebird. It doesn't have any flaws on it anywhere. It is made in Japan. I love the glaze that's on it. It's not that crappy bisque. Sorry, I don't like oh, bisque. Hi, mom. hi, mom. My mom's watching. But hi, isn't it mom. so cute? This is $8 and it's number 13. $8, number 13 for the little tree bird air plant, I'm going to call it, um, vessel. Uh, Randy girl. Randy. Randy likes that her plant. That was a big yawn, baby. Alrighty. Now, this is something that I talked about trying. And since we're talking about beer, let's just, let's try this. Now, this is a pre-prohibition bottle from Terre Haute Brewing Company from Terre Haute, Indiana. The cool thing about this bottle, and you can kind of <laughs> tell it, it's kind of a green color. It's a green color and it has all of these air bubbles in it. Oh, I've got to shoot. Dad needs to go pick up Jaden. <laughs> Dad, if you're watching, you've got to go pick up Jaden. Terre Haute Brewing Company. Um, it has all of these little blown uh, bubbles in them. Mother, are you watching? Mother, call Dad and tell him to go pick up Jaden. Um, Brie wants to know if she was before Randy. Um, Who wants to know? Brie? No, Randy, you were Brie first. Was right Randy was number thir Randy got number 13. It has all these air bubbles in it. My mom's calling my dad right now. <laughs> um, there is one little, like, spot where maybe it was chipped or, you know, it's not rough, but it's, but it's there. But I love this. It's it's um, embossed Terre Haute Brewing Company. It is ten dollars and fifty cents, and it's number twenty six. Ten dollars fifty cents, number twenty six for the Terre Haute Brewing Company uh, bottle. Pre prohibition. I don't think it's me, Cheryl. I think Maybelle would love on anybody. Yeah, she's a good baby. She's a little nippy though. She's a little nippy. She likes to nip on things. All right. All right. Next thing. These little doggies I had in a previous sale and the, the, the person never paid for them. So I'm showing them again. They are these cute little, I don't know, Scotty dogs. Or t it's a terrier dog of some sort. So there's this one. Oh, yeah. And then, because then I sold the ones the next day. I saw yeah. something similar. This little, um, the okay, medium okay. size one, and then the little baby. Now, the little baby has his ear broken off. See, he's got the, 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 the ear broken off. And they, you get all three of them for $5, and they're number 10. Hey, Rebecca. We're all happy to be seen them. by you. <laughs> all three of them for $5, and they're number 10. Yeah, Fern, they might be Westies. Are you a little Stella, half a Stella? I think I see blue feather mercantile. Mm -hmm. 
Gotcha, Greg. Okay, now I have these. I've got a lot of people asking about these because they've had them and they remembered them um, from back in the day. There are these little rooster, I don't want to say that they're cutting boards because, I mean, I guess you could use this side as a cutting board, but it's cork on one side. And this one's a rooster. This one is these birds. And this one is these birds. So they've got three different designs on them. This one still has the leather hand uh, hanger. Trivets, that's the word. Yes, trivets. But these do not have the leather. Yes, that's me, Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that you could hang them up. But I kind of like them just stacked. I don't know. I just like the look of them being stacked. But you get all three of them for $8, and they're number 25. $8, number 25 for the vintage trivets. This one's really pretty with those the yellow color in it. Okay. Next, Carrie Casey. Carrie Casey. You had the same ones? Yeah, I had a lot of people tell me that they that they had those. Oh, I wrote it in the wrong place. Did somebody get that bottle or no? Nobody got the bottle. I don't think so. Nobody got, I didn't, I just wanted to try it. I wasn't for sure. I figured those I probably would have to list on eBay because it's going to be more of a, a, a mass world thing, maybe. Okay. Yeah, shush. So I have another, <laughs> one of those table runners. and this going to fit in my purse, you guys, because yeah. I got the purse that nobody bought. I've been using it and asked Misty. I can't find a thing in it. It's like a bottomless pit. My baby. So this is just like the red ones, but this is has a blue trim. So it's the hibiscus flowers with the blue trim. This one does have a little cigarette hole in it right there from Uncle Hal. Uncle Hal shouldn't have been smoking at the table. And then it does have a it does have a, a, a rip right there. But I just couldn't leave it behind. I thought it was just the colors were beautiful in it or on it. It is eight dollars and it's number twenty one. Oh, Uncle Hal, quit smoking <laughs> at the table. $8, number 21 for the, I think those are hibiscus with the blue table runner. Mm -hmm. Oh, Uncle Hal, you crazy guy. Okay, yeah, they would be great to make a pillow out. And I just think that they're just, they're just kind of tropical and fun, and I like them. Mm -hmm. Really good for uh, the summer because Memorial Day, 4th of July, that. Yeah, they would be great. It would be great for display. <laughs> she just licking you. She just I'm being a little it. licker. She's chewing on me a little bit. Three hundred and ten okay. watts. We haven't gotten to two hundred thumbs ups yet. Remember when we got to three hundred? Mary Beth won't stop texting me. Mary Beth. Okay. How about we do a piece of pulley glass? Ooh, that's so cool. This is a brandy sniffer. It is. It's in excellent condition. It's this beautiful kind of hypnotic oh, empoli. Rachel's taking us to pee. Oh, thanks, Rach. Wash your hands when you're done. Thank God this isn't Zoom. <laughs> yeah. So this is really, it's it's hypnotic almost to look at. Are you guys getting It's very tall. I love Ooh. it. It's in excellent condition. It is hand blown. It's beautiful. It's just I'm a little nervous to ship it. I'm always nervous to ship things. I'm always scared they're going to break, but I do ship things well. So just, <laughs> just know that. And I keep, my voice keeps. That's cool. Ooh, it's kind of fun. Super cool. It is beautiful. You could even it, put like a, one of those fake tea lights in there. You could, you could make it a terrarium. You could put a big bushy air plant in it. It's really pretty. You could drink a glass of wine out of it or a bottle of wine out of it out of it if you would like you can brandy sniff if you want you know if you want to yeah rachel don't hit facetime rachel don't hit facetime right now <laughs> this is 25 dollars. yes it's green it's green it's green glass it's not yellow it's green glass it's 25 dollars and it's number 30. margaritas oh, yeah yeah buddy Ooh. $25, number 30. A bottle empty of nesting. Peppers. That's Maria. Empty nesting. 
Maria is so pretty. I, I You could just, I don't know. I like to just look at it or drink a bottle of wine out of it. Okay. I have a tablecloth here that's amazing. I've never seen one like this before. I think that it's just, it's just mid-century. He has to go pick Jaden up at. Oh, okay. Um, Maybe it's in the back of here. He has to pick them up at here a little bit from school. Yeah, you're fine. Yay. Yeah. This is amazing. It's a tablecloth. It is, um, a, a, it's a square size tablecloth, but it's so like a, for a card table. Ooh. It's like a Western. It's got horses uh, and trees. Those trees are cool. I like that. Yeah. Or, I don't know what they are. See, what do you call them? But it's called? got... All of these designs on it. It is square. It's linen, and it's in excellent condition. There aren't any stains on it. There aren't any any holes in it. It is. What number is this? I didn't. I didn't okay. It, yeah. it is sixteen dollars, and it's number twenty. It is not a unicorn. Oh. Okay. It is just a pink, majestic, <laughs> Fabio horse with Fabio hair. It's amazing. I love it. Never seen anything like it in these parts before. Okay. I have mid-century wasted number 20. Yep. You taking her outside, Dad? Yeah. Mid-century wasted number 20. Okay. Kind of lose the track. No, 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 no. Oh, she's she. Yep, too late. <laughs> well, better than the floor. Rachel, than me. Rachel, Mel, Maybelle just uh, squatted. You, you put it in her brain, so she just did it. Fabio horse, yes. Just not on me. So now I have a beautiful piece of redware with a rooster on it. It says syrup. It's in excellent condition. There aren't any chips on it anywhere. Um, someone had messaged me saying that they remember having these as a kid. I think too. that they did come in, there was a couple of the little cond condiment things that went with it too, but this is syrup. The cold paint on it is in really good condition. There's just a little bit of wear right there on the tail feather. You have this, Greg? I know. I like the, 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 like, buttons down the side. Wait, oh, yeah. Like the little rivets down the yeah. side. This is $15 and it's number 18. $15, number 18 for the Redware picture. I know the glaze. There, glaze is fun. Bisque is not. CCC. CCC. Bisque is just, ugh. Just feels like you're touching gravel. Huh. All right, I have a piece of cruel. I have a piece of cruel that is not in a frame. I do have some frames, but I never got no, around. I'm buffering. I don't know if anybody else is going to be. Let me wait a few minutes. What's bisque? Electric hanger. Ask what's bisque. Bisque's Bisque. favorite thing. Bisque is, it says I'm, am I buffering? Michelle is buffering. Am I buffering to you all? Looks like I'm looking at your butt. <laughs> That's scary. They're okay. Oh, no. Food Schnuda is too. No, okay. I'm not buffering. Hey, yeah, bisque is fired on and it's not glazed. And it has just a dull, I don't know. I just don't like it. It's scratchy. It's just plain and not extra. I don't know. But anyway, I have a piece of Cruel. This is not in a frame, which will, which will be great to ship it but you'll have to add your own frame. This piece of linen is yellow. It's not showing up that yellow on camera, but it is yellow and it's this beautiful blue pitcher with daisies in it with the orange flowers. I think that it's really, really nice. Isn't it pretty? Um, it could be easily framed. You could iron it and put it on a board and then put it in a frame if you would like, but I decided not to because I think it would be easier to ship it that way. This is $16 and it's number 19. $16, number 19 for the piece of Cruel. The edges around it have been finished, so it's not going to fray. So it's a really pretty piece. I'm refreshing, so I'm trying to 
you're refreshing. Okay, so this is $16 and it is number 19. Um, I see resale therapy, I think. Yeah, resale therapy kidlet. Yeah, it's really pretty. I Next week I will have another piece of cruel that I'll be showing as well. But this was really pretty. I like the yellow. All right. Let me just show this doll real quick. This is Ashley. Trying to sell these dolls for my mom. Here's Ashley. She's got little ponytail curls with her little uh, ribbons in her hair. Ooh, just dropped her little baby bottle. She's got a really pretty pink suit with her little crocheted booties. She's got a little baby bottle that I just dropped. But she's got a little pillow with a quilt. She's got a lot of pieces with her. And a, and a drip. And here's her little bear. She's $15. And she is number four. $15. I have got a... I'm way... You're way... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to sell these because Mom said that Emma gets the money. You know, you get to a certain age and you bend down and you make noises. Lord, yes. Oh, it's so hard. All right, moving on. Did anybody get that? No. I didn't think they would. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Sh oh. oh, my gosh, Misty, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. No, Sheila. Sheila wait, Putman wants what? number four. Well, maybe you should go back and show. I'll what's show. Her name? I'll show Brittany here in a minute too. Brittany, Brittany's going to get showed again. She'll be fifteen dollars as well. Judy Seaford was a runner-up, even so yeah. people might have tuned in now. Wait, is Stephanie showing up finally? Oh, no, Stephanie's it's a okay. Not sure what's going on. Next, I have this little um, green recipe box. I don't know that it's. Well, I mean, recipe cards would fit in here, but it's 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 a larger size. Index card box. Index card by, box, yeah. Um, I'm a sucker for these simply because, I mean, you can put things in them, but look at that t that color on the inside. Mm -hmm. So you can display flowers or whatever in this and leave it open and then put some things, but you could also close it and use it as something to build hype in a display. That's why I like this one, because I, I think you can use it at Christmas time, basically. I have a red um, one I use. Yeah, they're they're just fun. It's not it's just green. There's no fun plaid to it or anything, but I like it. It does have a little dent right there. You can see right there. But you know, I don't know. I just I'm a sucker for these things. And I, I buy them when I see them. This is six dollars and it's number thirty nine. It's a little hinged metal box. Six dollars, number thirty nine. Great for Christmas display. Or St. Patrick's Day. So she will put on that for her daughter. Putman. Oh, Putman. Okay, for your for her granddaughter. granddaughter yeah. I really wish those chalkware plaques. I really want. Did the chalkware plaques they not sell? sell? Do you want me to show them to you again, Pooja Snuda? Yeah, they're they're right good. here. They are fifteen dollars for the chalkware. So, Puda Schnuda, if you want these, just let us know. Hi, Sandy. And I will make Michelle write your name down. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. All right, I have this piece. Now, this, I've had this for a little while. And I, when I was sitting down yesterday filming my video, I, I pulled it out and I, I, I looked at the back. And I, I, I didn't realize that it, it is what it is. And it is a Rosenthal netter, which is a highly collectible piece of pottery. It's made in Italy. So this is an ashtray, and it's got this really pretty orange and um, green glaze to it with a starburst sign, or starburst look to it. The edging is gold. I, these, they, this Rosenthal, though, they made a lot of this, like cigar ashtrays. I think that this one is a cigar ashtray. Well, I don't know. The little rests look a little bit bigger to me, so I can't really tell. But it is made in Italy, and it is numbered 
Um, 49 out of, I think, 109. But ha there's the tag. That's Rosenthal. Oh, so cool. It is really cool. It has some weight to it. And it's kind of uh, given us like some treasure craft vibe. It definitely has a treasure craft vibe to it. How heavy do you think it is? I would say, well, I will go see. Michelle, you can entertain the truth. One pound, five ounces. With just the, just the, just this itself. So not with packaging or bubble wrap or anything. Thank you, Dad. Um, so this is fifteen dollars, and it's number fifty-four. Fifteen dollars, number fifty-four. I have seen these sell on eBay for over twenty-five dollars. So this one is fifteen dollars, and it's number. 54. I think I see Shirley Pearl. And if you see her, she must be getting ready to pop up on my Shirley Pearl. Ooh, a lot of people wanted that. I'm Shirley got stuck again, but you say Shirley. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm seeing first. I'm seeing Shirley's name mm -hmm. first. Yep. Yeah, it's really pretty. All right, we're going to do an offer up. Oh, oh. These are really cool. I love these. Oh, gosh. They're so cool. Okay, so they are this number, which it doesn't matter what number because you guys are doing an offer up. So the numbered, it's number 41. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do an offer up. Um, does Shirley get a free shirt? I don't know. Maybe we should get, maybe we should <laughs> order one for Shirley. Yeah, Alex's mom is selling them and I'll, I'll link her um, all for stuff down below. But these... I recently bought these and they are so, they're so neat. They've been in a haul video of my pepper shakers. So this one's a little girl and she's got a little bow in her hair. And this one's a little boy. He's got a little hat on. Now someone had asked if they like inter intertwined and they don't. Like I, I, I couldn't figure out how to get them to intertwine, but um, they kind of look like they would, but they don't. But they're in excellent condition. They're made in Japan. This one doesn't have the stopper. This one doesn't either, and someone's put a piece of tape. I don't know. I don't hope my thing didn't say start just now. No, no, okay, no, no. Because I'm trying to... Um, something came through on my thing. No, we haven't started them. They they do not have any, any flaws on them. I believe that they... Oh! Yes! What? Brie! They hung. No, no, no! Salt. Oh my gosh. Pepper. Yes, I've seen that on, on something. Yes. My mind is blown right now. Yes. Salt. And yeah. Oh my gosh, that's brilliant. I didn't even think about that. So no, we haven't started these yet. They they say that they're made in Japan, but they feel very California pottery to me, but they're they're not. They are made in Japan because that's what they're marked. I can't like. Are you not? Well, I can keep track and you can just write down. But yeah, these 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 are really pretty cool. There's no flaws on them other than they're missing their stoppers. Their their trunks have not been re-glued back on. They are still intact. So I'm going to start them um, as an offer up. So you whatever price you're willing to pay for them, just put in your offers and other people will put in their offers. And whoever gets whoever has the highest offer at the end of one minute will will get to buy them. So, well, I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna say start. Cause I have a timer right oh, yeah. here. I'll just say start. And start. I'm starting them at $10. I should have said that, but 54 seconds. They're starting them at $10 for the little elephant salt and pepper shakers. Uh, I see Ferns Fines is at 10. Uh, 42 seconds, 43 seconds, $12. Nina is at $12. They're in great condition, condition, a little salt. 30 and seconds, 30 seconds, thir 13, 14. Electric mm -hmm. hanger is at $14. Come on, you guys. They're so cute. They are so, I've never seen they're them. Wearing like polka dots. Oh, they're wearing polka dots. Randy's adorable. at $16, 15 seconds. 
So here I am. Look at their okay. little pokey dots. Okay. Their little matchy match. Nine, eight. Fifteen. Still seeing fifteen. Oh, no, Randy's at sixteen. One, Randy. Zero. Okay. I, I got it in. I got to stop in. You got to stop in. Okay, Randy Heilman at $18. Oh, I think. I saw mid century oh. first. You did? Okay, yeah. I'm sorry, Randy. Do you? Okay. Yeah, I see mid-century mid wasted first. Yeah, mid-century wasted. You get the little the little elephants, and they will be wrapped up very nicely. To go out to Calais, California. -A. Okay. Okay, Michelle, who does Schnuda wants the wall, the chalkware? Okay. Gotcha. Okay, well, this piece, oh my gosh. This piece I've recently just bought last weekend. And they, this is awesome. Now, I'm not looking forward to doing this. <laughs> whatsoever at all, period. But it is this beautiful McCoy. Uh, this is the Harmony line. Uh, that McCoy, McCoy made. I'm going to take this out. It comes with the flower frog, the glass flower frog. This is so mid-century modern. It's just not even mm -hmm. funny. It's this beautiful buttery yellow. It's marked uh, McCoy on the bottom. It, it This is the Harmony line. It, it almost reminds me of a lava lamp. Oh, yeah. Base, you know, or some sort of a lamp. But it does come with the flower frog. It's amazing. It's, it's heavy. This this really is heavy. Um, it will be wrapped very, very, very well. So just keep that in mind. I'm in Indiana, but it's it's beautiful. So you can have your little floral arrangements, and they'll be placed in there perfectly with the little flower. Unless you live there. between uh, here and Milwaukee. Yeah, Michelle will <laughs> deliver it to you. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love McCoy, and this is just, it's gorgeous. It does have crazing on it. Which, you know, I like. I wish you would focus on the crazing. But there are no chips, no flaws on it anywhere. I almost kept it, but I didn't. And it's so now it's going to be. And I have it at $35. You do get the flower frog with it. $35 and it's number one. Number one. $35 for the Harmony Harmony line McCoy flower pot or flower base. <laughs> Thrift do just said Mr. Brady would have had that in his home office. It's very architectural. It is very architect. But then Bobby Brady would have busted it. Busted it with his ball. Mom always said, don't play don't ball, ball in the house. house. I see Amanda Pearson. Pearson. Yep. Amanda Pearson. We got you. Oh my gosh for the McCoy vase. I have Gorgeous. another vase. This is USA Pottery, I do believe. I don't know, it's got a crown on it. Randy, are you watching? Yeah, it, has a, it has a crown on it. You can't really tell. So I don't know if it's USA Pottery, if it's, I don't know, but it's cool. It's a little um, cream colored flower pot with the attached under tray, the little attached water tray. Um, this actually, I had on my porch and I, I'm i going through a thing where I'm getting rid of the thing, replacing them with other things. It does have a little chip right there on the under tray itself. But other than that, it's in great condition. It is $10, it's $10 and it is number 24. I don't know what the crown, that's why I was asking Randy. Randy, what does that mean with that? It's got the crown on it. Can you see that? Oh, there we go. In the light, I'm trying to get it just right. Is that right. Sam or Sarah? That's probably Sam. Sam's just baby. Bobby. So who got this? Bobby Marcantonio. Bobby Marcantonio. I love saying her I name. know, me too. So fun. I'm, showing, I'm still showing this, Bobby, and it's yours. Okay. God, Lee, we've been doing this for a while. I'm going to try to speed it up now. Next, I have prayers for children. Do your children need to learn their prayers? Well, you can buy them this book with this creepy little girl on it. 
Some may think that she looks pretty sweet. I don't know. She kind of looks like she's staring into your soul a little bit. <laughs> There's her cute little brother with his little freckle face nose. So adorable. This one is a it's a second edition. It's um oh then gosh, and then there's this child on it. It's just kind of weird. It is 19 the first print was 1952. This is oh, 1974. Oh my call. gosh, look at the this birds, little boy. Uh, look at his sweet little chubby cheeks holding that little baby bird. Oh, dear father here and bless. Oh my gosh, look at he's saying it's just it's sweet. It is sweet. Now, some naughty child wrote in the beginning of it, right? Well, I guess it's Jennifer. It says Christmas 1984. So she got this for night, Christmas 1984. But it has really sweet graphics. In it. <laughs> wow. I'm adjacent children of the corn. I know. <laughs> so this is $4 and it's number 60. $4, number 60 for the bears. For children. Probably that brand, Bobby Brady. Fab Finds Fairy. Fab Finds Fairy. All right. I've got some cardinals. Do y'all like cardinals? Cardinals are declined. Someone's calling me. Cardinals are Indiana State Bird. Oh. So I do have... Oh, I should mention the illustrators. Um... I don't know if this one actually says. Eh, it doesn't matter. Somebody yeah, knows. Eloise Wilkin. <laughs> Eloise Wilkin illustrated that one. These are little cardinals, salt and pepper shakers. They are made in Japan. They both have their corks. This one, the, the paint is coming off because that's that red, that darn red paint. That darn red paint always comes off. Uh, but so sweet. I know cardinals have a special meaning to a lot of people, so I like to to find them because I know that people do like them. Um, these are $8 for the set and crown pottery, but I, okay. I'll, well, I'll try to, it, it's hard to see Randy, but it, it, it probably is crown pottery because it does have a crown on it. These are $8 and they're number 15. $8, number 15 for the little made in Japan um, cardinal salt pepper shakers. You can get corks to fit the salt and pepper shakers at Dollar Tree? Really? Lena got that. Lena. You got the cardinals. All right, I have another wooden box here. This one's a chonky. This is a chonky box. It's a big box. It's a hinged box, and it's oak. So it's lovely, and it has, I don't know. I think it was for some sort of tool. It is hinged, but the hinge doesn't go all the way up to the top. But man, it has just character. It's a box full of character. Look at that purple lining. And I think this probably held some sort of a, a tool. But it's really thick. It's a thick box. So this is when they made, they made containers to hold things that were very classy. And almost like a work of art. So this is a nice heavy wooden box. I don't know if this stuff could be, because this is wood inside here that's velvet lined. Hi D. Hi D. But a really pretty box. It's it's it has a really pretty varnish on it. What did I do with the price tag? I can oh, help. it's right here. It's right here. <laughs> this box is $15 and it is number seven. $15, number seven for the oak. This is solid too. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is thick. This is all one piece of wood. And it, you can see the chisel marks from when they made it. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl, it's a box day for you, girl. Okay, and we're just scanning the side of the table to see what else. All right, I have some glasses. These are like a thumbprint glass. There's a set. There's a set of six. They're also that green, kind of the same, a little bit darker green than the Empoli brandy sniffer, but they're that thumbprint glass. They are they're in excellent condition. There are six of them. So there's two, 
four, and six. They do not have any flaws on them. They're in excellent condition. I like that there's actually six of them and not the thrift store five or the thrift store three. There's actually six of them. Um, and they just feel good in your hand. They're so these cute. are, they're really, really pretty. They are, so you, get, you get all six of them for $16 and they are number 33. Did you say they're Hazel Atlas? They are Hazel Atlas. Yeah. $16 for all six of them and they're number 33. Okay. All right. Next, oh, this is going to drive. This is gonna, this one's going to be the death of me to ship cuz I'm just going to make me nervous. And that is I sold uh, one of those um frog, you know, the Sears frog ones. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of bubble wrap, guys. This is the... Nobody got the glasses. Nobody got the glasses. This nope. is Highmark, made in Taiwan. And it is a butter... Not a butterfly, a mushroom. A mushroom canister. I yeah, you this. sold Neil the Frog. Yeah. Yeah. But it's mushrooms. And it has a mushrooms on the top. And it's in great condition. There is one little um, part right here on the top of that mushroom. Right there. Show the glasses again. Okay, I will, Suzanne. I'll show them in just a second. This is $18 for the mushroom. It's kind of a basket weave, too. Hi, Mark. Made in Taiwan. It does have this sticker on the, back, on the bottom. It is, what did I say? $18, and this is number two. $18, number two. Very boho, retro, whatever. 70s groovy cool. 70s groovy cool. Tammy DeVille. My internet is just sad. Tammy DeVille. My, my like, situation. Make sure that you do guys, you guys send me an email, thrift or junk or vintage hunter at gmail.com with all of your information. I'm going to need your actual name, your YouTube name, your shipping address, your full shipping address, not just your zip code, and your PayPal email. And I'll get invoices sent out tomorrow. Here are the glasses, Suzanne. They are um, $16 for six of them. $16 for six of them. And what did I say? Number 33? What did I say? Number 33. What? Yeah, number, yeah, number 30. These are number 33 for the glasses. Woo. All right, how, now we have tucked in tails. This is tucked in tails. It's so cute. Look at her, her little face. Okay, so she got Susan. Suzanne wants the glasses? Yeah. Okay. Nancy Robertson. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> Unless my fingers. Yeah. What'd she want? Um, The cardinal shakers. Oh, yeah, they were already sold. Yeah. So this is copyright in 1940. Yes. Is, what? I was gonna say that, Suzanne. Um, I can take those glasses for Suze. I'm gonna see. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be great. So you won't have to pay for shipping, not unless Michelle makes you pay for handling. I don't think she will though. All right. So this is tucked in tails from 1940. The it's Rand McNally. The all of the illustrations on the inside are co are in color. So the little white bed that ran away. Okay. Oh, I guess some of them are in black and white, but a lot of them are in color as well. And then I, I, is it all just one? Okay. The little town of Upside Down. Oh my gosh! Look at the little Prixie. <laughs> See him? The little town of Upside Down. Oh, there's a little Prixie again. And then there's a, one more story. The Brown's Little Brownie. Look at her clothes and her hairstyle. So this is $8. Here's the back of it. It does have some little wear on the back. It's $8 and it's number 59. $8, number 59 for Tucked In Tails. 1940. It's hardback. Hard. Barb, so cute. This is a 
something that I just recently bought over the weekend too, and I thought I would go ahead and try it. This is an olive can, Chicago. And the olive can, they did these uh, for a long time, up until I think the 80s or the 90s. But this is a little sewing box, and it has, well, I call, these might not have been sewing boxes, but that's just what I, I always refer to them as sewing boxes because my grandma always had mm -hmm. these, and she'd have buttons and stuff in them everywhere. Uh, illustrator for that is uh clarence beers clarence beers so the little sewing tin made by olive can um and it says moms on the inside which i just kind of think is neat but it's in great condition could use a little bit of wax you could wax them a little bit to clean up clean it up this is 12 dollars, and it's number 27 oops sorry it's okay I'm picking up your flashlight. Oh, twelve dollars, number seven for the rose. I call. I still call them sewing boxes, but they're not sewing boxes. No, they not number seven. Boxes. It's number twenty. Oh, number seven. twenty-seven. I think. I think that. Um. Well, they said. Yeah, Liz got it. Okay. Got gotcha, you, Liz. Oh yeah, I got it. I see. Oh, I guess you said it twice. And it could be a drum. Oh, Michelle, you should do your tambourine, and I can do my drum. Stop now. They love it. Okay, I have another offer up item that I think absolutely fantastic, and I think that a lot of you guys will like it as well. Yeah, I, I was trying to think how I wanted to do this, and I, I'm just going to do it as one offer up, but there could be a lot of, you could make a lot of money on this, what I'm about to show you if you were going to resell it, because you could do other things with it. But it, you get 25, I think I wrote that down. Yeah, 25 squares of this cutter quilt. They've already been cut. Let me show one. They're all different. So they've all been cut already. My mom cut them up because she was, they were, it was a quilt top that she, and she wanted to make pillows out of these. And she, she's moved and she's just, she needed to get rid of things. But they are all different. The, the trim around most of them is this pale pink. But these are great to make pillows. And then you can mm -hmm. resell the pillows on Etsy. You can do a lot of, a lot of things with these. Um, so they're all different colors. There's one oddball one that I All the hard work's been done. Oh, I know. All the hard work has been done. So they're all, there's 25 of them. You'll get 25 panels. Let me show you. Kind of the you could make 12 one. pillows and frame one. Yeah, you could frame these as well. Those are but they're all that. different. This one's the only oddball one because it has one orange stripe <laughs> up there. So that, that's the oddball one. But they're all different colors. They're amazing. They're clean. They're pressed. They are ready to go. You get 25. 25 of these that you could make quite a bit of money on if you were reselling them on Etsy. If you know how to sew, you were good to go because you could make a pillows out of them or frame them however you would like to sell them. But I'm going to do them as an offer up. Starting, um, for at. starting out, I'm going to start them at $10. I always start my things at $10 and let me get myself off of them. So I'm going to tell you start and they would make you could make 25 pillows and sell them okay so we're going to go ahead i'll tell you start when the timer starts and then we're starting them at ten dollars for one minute and you ready mm -hmm. go you get 25 of these quilt top squares in this offer get an 11 dollar offer from carrie vintage girl so 11 dollars is i see 20 dollars they are really really neat side street market i see i see 22 dollars shirley pearl is at 22 dollars i'm trying to show most of them 22 oh this one's pretty 30 seconds 30 seconds i see 30 dollars 30 dollars look at this one with the blue and the yellow isn't that pretty side street markets at 30 dollars i see 31 dollars patsy coffee is at 31 dollars there is 10, 10 seconds. seconds. 
$32. Shirley Pearl's at $32. $32 for 25 quilt square. Stop. Stop. I see Side Street Market at 35 Side Street Market, you won 25 of them at 30, $35. That's a really good deal because you can, if you if you can make pillows, you get that's that's a pretty good deal. All the hard work is done. So I promise they won't be watered in a in a ball right here. I will get them nice and flat for you and ship them to you. All right. So yeah, that's a great deal. They're really really pretty. All right. I have a book, another book. This one is ho hum. We're almost done. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Ho hum. This this child is bored at the zoo and so is his little squirrel friend and the monkeys were quite boring this is a whitman book and it the illustration is by jack and louise myers it's copyrighted 1957 by whitman oh yeah you could make a definitely make a quilt out of those absolutely but look at the sweet illustrations in here oh <laughs> little bear and it's in excellent condition. For a book to be from 1952, the binding is intact. Look at the monkeys. Hi, Jeannie. I the, don't know how long the drive is. I, I three hours. Again. Three hours? Yeah. But then there was a part on here that there was a creepy clown, but we don't need to see him. Oh, look at the hippo. So cute. So this is $6, and it's number 56. <laughs> Rachel, Bye, Michelle. Such a joke. She's such a trip. She just <laughs> loves to take tear me up. Six dollars, number fifty-six. Uh, bye, Laura. I have Susan K. Yep. <laughs> so cute. Next, I have another book. This book, I just I don't know. I I pulled this out and I I, I just thought it was great. This is let's have fun, and look, it's got a little Vinny down there. Little Vinny, little vintage Vinny's down there playing his little guitar. Did you see little Vinny? Little Vinny <laughs> down there. <laughs> Look at that long neck. That's lion. so cute. But the picture. Yes, in I here. sure will, Suze. I absolutely will. What are you doing? Bringing her glass. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We just have to remember to, you know. Look, there's the little bear who's drinking root beer. Look at his eyes. He is drunk. He's a drunk bear. <clears throat> So the pictures in here are just, oh, there's the, the horrible clown. But look at the creepy monkeys playing their little instruments. Boom, boom, jingle crash. Listen to the drummer's drum. Listen to the cymbals. Hum. It's cute. It's a hardback book. Let's have fun. Who, I don't know if it says. It's a yes, board book. Yes. So it's a board book. It's 1972 by Froebel Khan in Japan. Oh, Monkey Jack lifts a heavy barbell. Monkey Jim will try it next. Monkey Jack and Monkey Jim. It's just fun. It's a so, bored book. It's not <coughs> boring. It's bored. Yeah, it's bored. It is $6 and it's number 47. No. Six, yeah. No, it's number 58. Oh. <laughs> well, let's but see. that's all right. <laughs> no one's typed in anything. It's number 58. I don't think. They want yeah. us to fight. <laughs> ah, Rachel. Nobody wants little Vinny. Uh, Look, little Vinny and all so little funny. Vinny, all the little Vinny fan club down mm -hmm. there. All right. So, six dollars, number forty. No. 58. Number fifty-eight. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, I don't have time for you right now. I'm having a sale. All right. I have two more things. <laughs> what? I'm just laughing at Rachel. Oh, two more things. One of them is this beautiful. Now listen, this is a good deal because you're getting the frame along with the picture. And the frame itself is 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 pretty great. It's this antique picture, but look at the frame. It's in this old antique frame. I don't know if it's walnut, but it has it's brown and then it's painted black here. If I can get this picture so you can see it without the glare. But it's a group photo with all of these children. And then there's some, oh gosh, the glare. The house is back here. There are some early cars. And then a field full of flowers. 
so it's just a really it's a really cool piece it is $23 which is an amazing price really it, it, it's going to be a little bit to ship so I will tell you that it has a little bit of weight to it it's $23 and it's number eight the antique frame with the group photo $23 number eight And then, oh, Liz Bergen Pines. Oh, Liz. Liz loves this artwork, and she knows that I pack it really well. She's bought lots of big pieces of artwork from me. Okay, I have one thing left, and it is a book, and it's old Hand Car Joe. And I said it right this time, Michelle. I was not calling it Hand Car Joe last night. I'm not even going to say what I was calling it. Neither was but I. you can use your imagination. But I, was I kept calling it that too. Channeling a shake weight, if you know what. I'm and that's saying. what I kept calling it, and that's I was so scared I was going to do that on my on my sale today, but but I didn't. But this is Hand Car Joe. It's a story by Gar Voss, another Wayne feature. But look, it's Hand Car Joe. He is. <laughs> he's pumping his hand car. <laughs> now this book is from the forties. Does he have a job? Does Joe, does Joe have a job? He's hand card Joe, <laughs> Michelle. Oh. That is his job. So the binding is 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 out, but it's still really cool. And it's 1949. And in the early years when the railroads first began to link the east with the west, the north and the south, they appeared a character who stood from, out from all the American scene. He had courage and a dashing restlessness that was an important factor in making our country big and prosperous. That character, as this story will unfold, was a delightful, fabulous figure known as Handcar Joe. So if you would like to learn about Handcar Joe, you could buy this book. It does have color illustrations. Really, for it being from the 1940s, it is... Look, look, look! There's Aaron! Jeffrey, Barb, there's Aaron! He's lifting up that train with his blonde hair, sealing himself as he heard puffing of the, the engine. Look, well, that I knew there was going to be some puffing happening. <laughs> I knew it. I, I knew mean, it. and the illustrator was Raleigh. How does so, he? Um, how does he make the the hand car go with his hands, Michelle? Does he pump it? Yes, Michelle. <laughs> look how look how dashing and tall he is. He's hand car Joe. He could His do arms anything. are big, and I know why. Michelle! Okay, this is for only $4. If you would like to read about hand car Joe and all of his adventures, it's $4, and it's number 57. I bet you hand car Joe has a carpal tunnel. <laughs> it's $4. I'm going to make you take this book home. I'm pumping the hand car. Oh, Shirley Pearl. <laughs> Shirley Pearl, you saved the day. I, I would like to know. Shirley Pearl, you let me know about hand car Joe. Misty, you're not that innocent. Ah, right. Yes, girl. <laughs> Rachel Look, finally hand, came car, to my... hand car Joe can even pull a boat. I don't have a patty mouth. I have a potty brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think, did I show everything? <laughs> I think, no, I, can, I, I think you need to reshow Brittany. Oh, I'll show Brittany. I'm gonna show Brittany. Gosh, somebody please, please buy Brittany. Because I think Sheila and then there was somebody else who wanted the um, Ashley doll. They might both be interested. Ashley is sold, but Brittany is no, available. No, uh, because Sheila bought. Yeah. Bought. So here's Brittany. She is a boards, boards bear, boards bear doll. All of the money goes to Emma because these Diana. were my mother's. She's got little resin shoes. She's got her little... She's going to visit Bob, hey, Boxcar Joe. Because <laughs> she's going on a rail trip. On a on a train trip. She going one way or is that going to be round trip? <laughs> Michelle! <laughs> but she's got her little her little bear. She's $15. I'm sorry. Snooda said Brittany's not that innocent. No. <laughs> Brittany's not that innocent. She's number three, and she's $15 for Brittany. <laughs> Look at her cute little dimple. She is a porcelain doll. She's got a lot of, she got a lot of hair. She will not come with shaved hair, as Brittany. Janice to... thinks that we should get a comedy YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, see, nobody wants Brittany. Sorry, Brittany, you're going somewhere else. Uh, you're not staying here. Brittany's gonna be living in Ashley's shadow. <laughs> Brittany's gonna go. I'm gonna put Brittany in Michelle's uh, suitcase. Yikes. <laughs> Brittany's gonna go home with Michelle. And is that, did I, is there something else that I did not say? Oh, wait, Jane Newhouse just bought Brittany. Jane! Jane, I'm gonna send Brittany and Ashley together. They'll be together forever no. and ever. Amen. No. Sheila Putman. Oh, bought Sheila her. Putman bought. Okay. Gotcha, Jane. We got you, Jane, for Brittany. They will be wrapped very, very well. They will be wrapped very, very well. Um, I didn't sell the bunny. No. There's a few things we could show again. Did you bunny. See that blue rose runner? You didn't sell that runner? I didn't. Um, would anybody like bunny? Barb, I know that you want bunny, right? Barb likes creepy things like this too. This is a bunny that's you got scared little runny. those kids into listening. <laughs> <laughs> Time for Easter. <laughs> you want to go find my eggs? Go to bed now. <laughs> okay, haunted bunny. Yes, I know. I like haunted bunny. <laughs> Uh, the bunny is not haunted. Bunny you know Woody Harris said that would be like Flat Stanley. The yeah. doll. I'll leave her. Look I'll at leave little her. bunny's tail. So little little bunny is eight dollars. Look, you can give little bunny kisses at night. Okay, so little bunny is number six and he's eight dollars. But nobody wants little bunny. So little bunny's also going in Michelle's suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that Brittany ain't going anyhow because Brittany's going to Jane Newhouse's house. Okay, so um, what about the brush? Oh, yeah, the brush. I have a shoe brush. This was the first thing that I had sold. So if you came in late, then this is the shoe brush. It's a primitive looking shoe brush. I like to set a brush. I have several brushes in a brush. display or a boot brush. So oh, it's got cool. the brush yeah, like here. A, some old man's boots with mm -hmm. like uh, the... um. Hens and chicks or whatever growing, yeah, growing out, of them, out of it. And then set that next to it. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, I, I have a lot of these that I just kind of lay <laughs> next to a book. They do look, look really nice. Um, this is $10, and it is number 45. $10 for the, it's an antique. This handle looks like it used to be red at one time, but it's got a lot of wear in it or on it. $10, number 45. And did I tin that rose um uh, uh trinket dish set? Oh that yeah. Rose trinket set. Oh well, let me show this. And that one. The hibiscus. Yeah. I'm just add it to a shelf. The hibiscus table runner. Um this one does have a little it has a little rip in it right there. Um it is eight dollars and it's number twenty one. Just add it to a shelf. Mm -hmm. Right. It's all you need to do. Just add it to a shelf. Oh, oh Suzanne, Suzanne McLean. McLean. It's really pretty. I like. I like because you can use it for Fourth of July, and it's just very pretty. How much was that? Eight dollars. Yeah. Okay. And then did I sell the green box? I don't think that no. I did. The green ten. Put it in a box. <laughs> I like this. I Melody, this is... you might want to wait till later and have a adult beverage with it. Yeah. <laughs> I like these. I can't resist buying them. I like that this color, you know, is the co the color that I love. But you could use it in a Christmas display. That that box. See, for me, green can be year round because green is spring, green is, is summer, green is fall, green is Christmas. Yeah. Green is every color well, you can work and into you a can, vignette. A lot of people will use those little um, recipe books. You know, like the small little recipe packets. And you could put them in there and use that as a display mm -hmm. and put like little measuring cups and stuff in it. So you can make a little assemblage with it for display. And this is $6 and it's number 39 for the little green box. Mm -hmm. And I think, did I sell the coal car? Number um, eight. The what? The little train car. Put it on no, you didn't show coal car. No. Oh, a hand car Joe. This thing could go with hand car Joe. Oh, sure. Hand car cool. Joe. Huh, did Shirley Pro buy it? Shelly oh. Carroll bought the book. This is a vintage Marks. Oh, it's upside down. Marks Coal Car. Penn Central. Um, it is $8 and it's number 55. If I don't sell this, I probably will just put it on eBay. I didn't even try to put it on eBay, but I just thought maybe we'd see if somebody would want it. It is not metal. It is plastic. Oh, that's inside. 
Suzanne McLean got the pull card. Okay. I think that these are neat sitting on a shelf. I have several of them. I like the cabooses the best, but. All right. The Watt Pottery. This is the old pansy. Michelle, quit being an old pansy. <laughs> and it has the four leaves on it. It is made by Watt Pottery. USA. No, Carrie, if you've bought from Miss D before, she would have your information. Yeah. If you've purchased from me before, you don't have to send me an email unless your information has changed because everyone's changing their their YouTube name and I'm having a hard time keeping track. Mm -hmm. So if you've changed your YouTube name, please let me know. Please let me know because I I like a good caboose, Rachel says. I have a good caboose. Yeah. When you got it, you got it. Toot, toot. <laughs> toot, toot. To to chug a chug a big red car. Remember the wiggles? Remember oh, the wiggles? Yeah. We'll travel yeah. nearer. We'll we travel. We saw Marie the red <laughs> wiggle at to, to Goodwill chug yesterday. Chug a big red car. Yep. Yeah, I'm staying for drunk or venture gender for life too. All right, so this is a little Watt pottery plate. It is. I'm going to lower the price. I'm going to say it is ten dollars, and it is number fifty. This is just a flaw in the glaze. It's not a chip. It's just where the glaze didn't get all the way on the end. <laughs> toot, toot, chug a chug. Uh, Crafty chug Jackie, chug. I'm going to take some credit for that. I think I'm inspiring Rachel. Just inspiring Rachel. Yeah. So the Watt Pottery Plate, $10, number 50. And I think that's it. Oh no, these things didn't sell. These little trink this little trinket dish. Here is the trinket dish itself. It's really pretty. There aren't any any damage to the flowers at all. It's made by uh Davar. And then it comes also comes with the two little um maybe gum savers. You know, these are like they would have gum savers. I don't know. I'm just kind of making up something cuz I'm not sure what these would have been used for. Um, the, the, this one is an excellent condition. This one has where the leaf has been repaired there. Um, they are, I'm going to do $10 for the whole set and they're number 14, $10 for the whole set. Number 15. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Thanks, Jeannie. We are happy. Yeah. We like having spending time i'm sad that she's so, getting ready to leave i know i can't even but she's going to go see fat bird fine so I that, will be, that will be it. fun. it's like i i want to be excited for that but i don't want to leave i, I know. mean this is just you guys we're, just don't even well we're gonna <sighs> we're gonna get together again okay so after well, I, we're, we're done with this but i am going to go over to instagram and do the yes yeah, she's gonna go too i'm going to sell some vintage clothing items i'm gonna ha i have 15 things it's going to be Close from the 80s and 90s. I'm probably going to do it for the next couple weeks on Instagram because I have these clothing that I want to get rid of. It will be priced to sell. So make sure that you go over to my Instagram, Thrift for Junker Vintage Hunter. At, no, just Thrift for Junker Vintage Hunter. Um, all my contact information will be in the description below. And I hope to see you guys over on Instagram. Thank you so much for all of your purchases and all of your comments. I did just reach 10,000 subscribers. So I, that was pretty exciting to me. So, um, but we got to get this one a thousand subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to Michelle Comfy Cozy, make sure that you do. We are getting her to 1000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. She's so much fun. Her videos are a lot of fun. So make sure that you go and subscribe Thanks, to her Stacey. channel. All right. I've had right. so much fun in Bedford, you guys. I mean, if you can come here, do it. Yeah, we're going to do it again. We're definitely going to do it again. All right, guys. I'll see you in a few minutes if you're going to jo join us over on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. And make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.